So the next one is text links. So with text links, uh, you already know a lot about ink-based links. I've shown you quite a bit, uh, but text links work a little differently. Uh, I'm going to give you an overview of them, uh, show how they can point to multiple objects at once, show how they work across projects, and show how they even work across apps. So you uh, know about ink-based links. Text-based links uh, are kind of similar in that they let you connect anything to anything, but you use them a little bit differently. For example, let's say we're in our uh, lead nurse deposition transcript here, and I want to link to this piece of text. Well, I simply select it, I tap copy link, and then I go over to the workspace, and let's go over to this text box here, and I'll say my link and paste it right in. And you see when I, when I tap paste, it includes the citation, uh, the name of the document, and so on. Now, even if I go to another document here, I can simply tap this text-based link, and it takes me right back to it, and you see it flashes it, and, and so on. OK, this is a very simple use of text-based links, but it's actually a pretty powerful tool. The first thing it can do is it can work across multiple uh, selections at once. So for example, let's say we bring up the surgeon's deposition transcript here as well, and maybe we make a selection from the surgeon's deposition transcript. Maybe we'll even make a second one. And then let's say we select something from the nurse's deposition transcript. And now I'll select copy link. And now we'll go link to three things. And then now if I go to even another document, I tap on this link. And you see it brings both documents back up and highlights all three of the points that the link points to. OK, now you might say, why are text-based links necessary given ink links? Well, one of the nice things about text-based links is that they're in line with your text. So they don't just sit over it the way ink links do. They're actually a part of your text. The other nice thing about it, then, is they work across projects. So let me show you. So you see that link I had for a moment ago that points to those two different documents. I can actually go to an entirely different project. Let's say we'll go to Cupcake Shop Market Research here. And I'll go to my workspace and just hit paste. And you see it pastes in that link. Now, if I click this link, it gives me an option to return to the other project. And when I do, it reopens both documents and highlights the, uh, the points in the text that, uh, uh, that the link points to. So this is very powerful, especially where you want to, let's say, have one project where you did a lot of research into a particular subject. And from another project that relates to the first one, you can actually just have a link directly between those projects. So it really simplifies things. The other nice thing about this is it works well across apps. So for example, um, again, we'll go to a different document here. Let's say we go to Microsoft Word. And I paste in this link. So if I click the link, You see, it takes me back to liquid text, reopens both of those documents, and highlights the points in the text that the link refers to. So this is incredibly powerful because it means that you can actually create your final Word documents that you're going to send around and share, but still have links in them back to the original liquid text content that you used to create them. So it's great for cross-application workflows. The, the link will be there, but unless they have the same liquid text project as you, uh, the link won't be very interesting for them. It won't be able. To, it won't bring the material up. Uh, but we are planning later this year, figure uh, probably early fall, uh, we want to release uh, collaboration where people will be able to yeah. actually invite other users into their projects. And then those links will do exactly what you're expecting. Then as long as that user is also invited into your project, uh, then the link will bring them exactly to the same place that it does for you. So again, text links overview, they can point to any number of things, they can work across projects and even across apps.